Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, this week's message is entitled Exercise. Don't get scared. We're going to talk about exercising your mind. You know, just like any other muscle in your body, I want you to think about your mind as a muscle, knowing that, you know what, am I working it out as often as I should? Well, I've got three tips for you today that I truly think will help you better exercise your mind. First of all, I want to talk about repetition, doing something again and again. You know, we talk about this to grow your skill set, but there's a couple things that happen. Certainly, growing and improving your skills is one of them. As you repeat something again and again and again, your skill set grows. But you also build a consistent habit by doing this. And think about it. If you're practicing properly, you know what, on an ongoing basis, you're building that habit and it's certainly something that's going to support and grow your business. So it builds skills, it creates that consistent habit, and lastly, and very uh, very importantly, it grows your confidence. So now as you practice this and you repeat it again and again, you get more confident and more comfortable. So now what happens is these scripts or whatever activities become your own. And so when you're speaking to a buyer or you're speaking to a seller, they're your words and you've tweaked some of them and you've moved some of them around, but guess what? Now it's you and everyone, including yourself, feels more comfortable. The next thing that you want to make sure you're doing in exercising your mind is you've got to provide direction to your mind. You know, they say 60,000 thoughts come through our brain every single day. Well, guess what? I want to control as many of those thoughts as possible. I'm not going to get them all, but I certainly want to do my very best. So what you feed into your brain on a day-to-day -day basis okay, is very important. And you've got to make a conscious choice. What you listen to, what you read, okay, what you practice, whatever it is, you've got to feed that information in. That's why we talk about always thinking positively because you can feed negative thoughts in if you choose to, or you can choose to feed positive thoughts in. And remember, you control the direction that your mind thinks about. You might as well think in a productive, more positive way. And last, but certainly not least, is interaction. Interacting with the people around you, interacting with productive, uh, thinking people. I want you to interact because as your brain okay, exercises, I want it to basically want to grow. I want you to think about your, your brain like a muscle has to grow, so you've got to exercise it to push it. And sometimes, you've heard this, no pain, no gain. Let's take, instead of the word pain, let's take fear and put it in there. So maybe by interacting with people who are more productive, who really are doing some things that maybe it's out of your comfort zone, by you interacting with them, that gives you the opportunity to get you out of your comfort zone. You get better okay, by interacting. You basically work out your brain by interacting with other people. You know, our thought processes are our responsibility. Okay? We can choose to let other people affect it or we can choose to take command of our thought process and exercise our mind in a proper way. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.